so I went to um, a, a conference a couple of years ago uh, to see a guy called Alan Baker, who's a philosopher of science, and he gave a paper where he's talked about a couple of examples involving insects and drew some really surprising conclusions about these kind of scientific examples involving bees and involving um, a type of cicada, which is a kind of um, looks like a big beetle and kind of makes a racket, makes a big noise. Uh, and he drew some really con sort of surprising conclusions about that data. And the conclusions are mainly about uh, the existence of mathematical objects, so abstract objects like numbers or, or sets or functions. So I think science is a really good way of working out what exists or what there is in the world. Uh, so I think when we are wondering about whether something's real or not real, we can do this very philosophical thing, which is to kind of sit in an armchair and puzzle about the, the properties and the relations and these quite abstract notions that philosophers like a lot. Or we can be slightly more scientifically informed and we can look at contemporary research that scientists are doing. And I guess there are scientists right now who think that the Higgs boson exists and other scientists think that it doesn't. And that's, that's kind of cool. So they carry out an experiment and they tell us whether something exists or whether it doesn't. What would be strange is if the kind of conclusion that you can draw from scientific research also showed that some kind of strange kind of entities existed. And things like mathematical objects, so we call them abstracta, these slightly bizarre, non spatiotemporal ghostly things like numbers, if they exist just because of some scientific research, well, that's a kind of surprising conclusion because we're going from the kind of idea that science tells us about atoms or, or subatomic particles, but it also tells us about the existence of, what, numbers? That's kind of strange. And I just find that intriguing. Just, uh, I think it's a, a great argument. It's puzzling. And I think, uh, I think, I think that there's something wrong with the argument, and I haven't been able to work out what's going wrong. And that's why I'm kind of attracted to thinking about it some more. So the title of the talk is uh, The Ontological Extravagance of Honeybees and Other Insects. Yeah. Um, just on a scale of one to seven, <laughs> how dangerous is this talk going to be if you're allergic to bees? Okay, so if you're allergic <laughs> to bees, you should definitely come along, because at least the, the, the worst that can happen to you here is that you become more informed about the threat that they pose to you, <laughs> and the threat might be purely intellectual. So.